history of my wellness summer series, which is a weekly chat, uh, an IG live, an IG TV, and it will be on YouTube as well. So you could be watching this in re real time or watching this on a recording. So you're very welcome and thank you so much for joining me. As I said, it's week three. So the idea is that every week I have a chat with somebody, usually in Ireland as well, like myself, in the wellness space, in the kind of holistic healing, nutrition, skincare, anything with kind of a natural holistic slant to it, um, usually business owners themselves, small businesses like me as well. So that's exactly what we're doing. This is week three, as I said, if you come across me completely randomly, I'll just quickly introduce myself before we get our guest on. My name is Mags, I'm in North County Dublin, I'm a yoga teacher, a ritual guide, and hopefully within the next few hours or days, I'll be, when I get my result, hopefully I'll be an Ayurvedic nutritionist as well. So tonight we are going to have Steph from Glow Circle. And while I wait for her to hopefully log in and come on, I'll just tell you a little bit about Steph. So I first, like most, most of these kind of relationships, I find people on Instagram and I started following Steph as she was showing a lot of content. Well, I love the name first, Glow Circle, that it was the whole, the name and the kind of the ethos and what she had in, in her bio that kind of drew me in. And then she talked a lot about jade rollers and gua sha. I think I'm pronouncing that right at last. I have and had a jade roller at the time. I wanted to get one for my mom for puffy eyes and massaging the face. And I ordered some skincare. So Glow Circle was and is a skincare brand, natural skincare. So I got the gua sha, I got some skincare, I got some muslin cloths. And then I was lucky enough to meet Steph in real life. I met her in St. Thomas Park for coffee and I met her a couple of times in real life since she came to one of my yoga events and we met her at Wellfest. And what else did I do? Oh yes, we, we did for lunch and stuff. Let's have a little, little catch ups and brainstorms. But Glow Circle has evolved. It evolved into homewares. And obviously when Steph comes on, she'll tell you better than me. But it evolved into homewares and candles and Lots of things, but one of the things I have is a gorgeous trinket tray that has my star sign on it, like the constellation of Libra. It's lovely. And then I know that Steph herself has done a lot of kind of self-development and she's gone into different parts, different elements of self-care and wellness and things now. So that's what I want to ask her about really is, because I had her on before and we talked about how she started her business, why she started Glow Circle. So today we're going to talk about the um, the evolvement, is that the right word? The evolution, it's the evolution of Glow Circle. So let's see if I don't see her here waiting to join. So I'm going to send her a little invitation. Okay. So uh, thanks for your patience while we wait for Steph to accept the invitation and join us. So just to keep you chatting for a moment while we wait for Steph, I might as well give you an L plug for my yoga platform. Why not? I wasn't going to, but I might as well. So I have a, a virtual studio. It's called kula.tv forward slash Walto. And um, just send me just send me an invitation then, Steph. Um, oh, here we go. Here she is. If you didn't get to do my plug, that's okay. That's not what this is about. <laughs> okay, do I have her? Accept. Go live. Stay with us if you're here any second. Okay, thank you. She's unable to join. Okay, so while we start that out, I'll just quickly tell you a little bit more about my platform. So it's basically, it's a virtual studio. It's like Netflix for yoga. And within those, within the Netflix, you would have series or box sets. And for mine, you have collections. So you have five collections. You have full length yoga classes and workshops with three different styles, vinyasa, which is flow, yin and restorative. And then you have your morning practices, which is Awaken. It's called Awaken. 
and they are all under 10 minutes and the idea is that you can try out these different practices over the space of a week to see what you would like to incorporate into your life because we hear a lot of a lot of stuff about how your morning routine you should be getting up at five and six and you should be journaling and reading and meditating and grounding and all of these things and for 99 percent of people that's probably not very realistic so I've done mine as a seven day and you take 10 minutes each day and then you can choose what to bring forward with you into your life. Let's see if this is going to work. The other collections are then the sleep collection and then we have Lunar Lovers, which are moon themed. Yay, here she is. I stepped away because it didn't seem like it was working. That's okay. All's well that ends well. Thank you so much for coming on. No, sorry, you carry on. Um, you carry on. No, that's okay. I was just, <laughs> I was just giving a little plug while we were getting you set up. That's okay. I, I don't know if you were here when I was introducing how we know each other. Yeah, how I we was. Met you <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't okay. Coaching. I don't know why. Let me just. That's on. okay. That's all right. Yeah. So I was just saying that. What I wanted to talk to you about was the evolution of Glow Circle and where it's going in the future. So yes. if we go back to like when I first came across Glow Circle and I got the gua sha and the muslin cloths and it was it was skincare and then you evolved more in not more, but you yeah. added in you added in the, the homewares, the beautiful candles and the trinket tray. Yeah. yeah no. So was there was that just a natural kind of evolution, or did you decide to go into like that a I, whole? It's an interesting one because I feel like there was a bit of, um, yeah. Because it's so funny how I was actually thinking when I was in the shower because I went for a run earlier and I was like, oh my goodness, me and Mags. It feels like I've known Mags for years and years and years, but it's been through <laughs> lockdown, and you know what I mean. Yeah. It has been like forever. It feels like you're a forever friend. But um, yeah, so no, yeah, so it evolved. But naturally, Glow Circle for me was always like a like a full package of wellness rather than just um, skincare, which skincare is fabulous. We all need to look after our skin and things like that. But because of where Glow Circle evolved from, for me, it was, I knew just like how you were saying of um, the type of person I am or the type of life that I live, the certain things that promote wellness. I can't completely keep to. I can't keep to the five o'clock in the mornings. I can't keep yeah. to, do you know, all of that kind of stuff, even though um, it's great for some, it suits some, it doesn't suit me or you probably. Um, so Glow Circle for me was a journey from a point in time in life where I was really in a really bad place and trying to find ways to make myself feel better again. And still I'm continuously on that journey because I think we're all on that journey. Um, yeah, like life isn't like a linear, it's like ups and downs and cycles and whatever, like one week to the next. And it's really taught us that those past couple of years for everybody to really look at themselves and think what makes me feel good. Um, so yeah, so it started off with the skincare. I naturally always wanted to evolve the business into more of a wellness, more of a how do you nourish yourself? How do you look after yourself? What are those tools that you use that you can dip into? There's times when you feel crap and washing your face is like goodness and that next step in your skincare routine can feel a bit like oh what am I doing oh I've missed off this am I ruined now and um, but what are those things that you can latch on to that doesn't feel like an extra thing to do um mm -hmm. so that's what it was about I think when I started doing the homewares and different trinket things and bubble candles and body candles and things like that I love them I really do enjoy making them but I started to realize, and I think, I think people in business, especially small businesses, you probably have more of the luxury to realize, oh, I'm going off piece here. Like, what am I doing? And is this more because, oh, my creative side, like I'm just enjoying doing this kind of stuff. I'm enjoying making those things. And that's the thing for me, rather than the thing that I need to be. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, there's certain things that I knew that, oh, I needed to kind of tune in to connect with myself again of, oh, those are things, maybe are hobby things that I enjoy doing for me rather than yeah. 
what promotes my overall wellness so it was like kind of like um yeah I think everyone you have those moments you know like how you reconfigure yourself to what you want to do and what you want to um continue to do and stuff like that but but they but they were also a moment in time though because I remember like the themes of the diffuser I forgot I had the diffuser as well they were in a moment of time of oh yeah the diffuser stages of lockdown so and they were yeah yeah yeah. Def- yeah they're definitely coming back like I have um like I'm literally like so slow but like the um diffusers and I've got boxes of them all here but it's more oh, um right. it was more the stuff the trinket dishes and the making oh, okay and stuff, those types of things um I had yeah. to decide that let me stop doing that and maybe focus more on something else that really like helps me and helps others hopefully Okay, well, I think I think you're up? absolutely right to do it because. Am I here? Can you see me? Yeah, you're here. Sorry, it froze. For okay, a second. sorry. No, you're grand. I was just saying. Um, what was I just saying? Oh yes, no, I think you were dead right to to try different to try different things, and it's the only way to learn. We can't just decide we're going to bring out this one product and it's going to be perfect and everybody will love it you have to try trial and error same with me with classes and workshops and things you know I try it put something together and you don't get any bookings or you don't get enough bookings or whatever and then something else will be a success the only way you'll know is to try yeah exactly try so so the so the trinket trays are gone so I'm the very lucky owner of my beautiful black and gold Libra yeah, you are you are you're a very lucky owner you're a very lucky owner and as well being a small business is um when you do some you're doing these things by yourself um you have to be um like precious of your time so things that yeah. take time and that you realize that because there was an element of my, when I'm doing this, I realized that I'm really not caring for myself in all of this because of the amount of time and effort I naturally try and pour into things. And then you go yeah. like, oh my goodness, I'm telling people to look after themselves and what am I doing here? Like, you know. I totally um, agree. Yeah. I totally agree. And I'm the same with my, my own yoga practice. It's really slipped. And I've decided that I'm, I need to, Again, how can I sell a class when when I I'm not prioritizing taking classes yeah. myself? So I've decided that I'm. I actually started yesterday. I made it to a physical class last night. Well done. But I, I'm gonna prioritize. I'm gonna prioritize that, and I even in talks with a VA to get some help to so I don't have to do every single thing. I think I'm at that stage. But yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, you have to kind of decide what to focus on. We can't do everything. Like you're probably like me in that you get so many ideas, and well, then Max, you, you we are. It just I know, I know. The it's fact so that we do so many it. courses, like yeah. as well, which we'll get to. We'll, we'll tell you. Like I'm always saying, like that's it. Not doing any more courses, and then I know. I and literally then the next thing, walk off around. I go. Yeah. I walk around sometimes and I think I don't even bother telling my husband about it anymore because he's just like, here we go again. And I'm just like, oh goodness, I need, I've got loads of they, they can't to even They can't even come up, keep up with all the different <laughs> things that we're talking about. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Mm. No, no. So where is Glow Circle evolving towards now? I think um, Glow Circle is evolving towards building the self-care toolkit. So it's more mm-hmm. of um, Glow Circle is the product side of like yeah. kind of Glow lifestyle. So it's the product side of like, it's got the candles, the skincare, aromatherapy, ritual kits and things like that, hopefully um, to come and, um, things, bath products, zero waste soaps and things like that, things that help you with your wellness and help it to be sustainable in the best way possible. That's what Glow Circle is. And that's what, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so these are the products that support your overall wellness regime. But then they've got another side to them, which is Glow Self, because 
that my my as well as when you have a small business and when you run it and you create the business based on the way that you feel or your journey there is the trouble of realizing that how do I kind of reflect different aspects of my life without being like oh my goodness I'm having a really bad week this week I can't be bothered with this how do you then be able to share with people how you are able to rebuild yourself through those times. And I felt that Glow Self was the best way of showing the tools that I use and the different modalities and different aspects of things that you can dip into to make yourself feel better. Um, that okay. may not only be skincare and lighting a candle and things like that. Those are all really lovely aspects of self-care, but there's a lot of layers and digging deep into yourself and realizing, okay, why was I annoyed about this? Why am I still getting upset about this? Why don't I have the energy today? And being able to like peel that back, that's what Glow Self is about. So it actually helps to implement all those nice things and brings it together. So um, yeah, so I've always wanted, it's an interesting thing because I don't think other brands do that, um, mm -hmm. which is fine. There's nothing bad on them or whatever. Like it's, I, but I think it's just like my, calling obviously it's my purpose that I feel that because I've gone through such a journey um I like to reflect that and hopefully what my story will help and support other people because uh, I know that I recently did a podcast and um one of the things that the host was saying that I didn't realize you can change something that could be awful for good and I was just like well I had to <laughs> I had to in yeah. a way so um, those kind of things. Um, so that's where it is now. And yeah, it's really just trying to figure out um, how best to spread the word of Glow Circle, get it in the good hands of good places as well, because I really do believe at the moment um, where people are shopping, you want your products to be. So, um, um, but then you want obviously the ethos of that place to be aligned to where your products are as well. So, um, is kind of getting that balance. Okay. So is Glow Self going to have a separate like website and a separate identity and a separate Instagram or? Yeah, Glow Self has a separate Instagram because I felt that the Instagram of Glow Circle, it was becoming, you know, because of, it, you know, when you're trying to, because you don't, wanna, it's an element of that whole social media and there was this, I think, um, oh goodness, I'm not that over, sorry. Um, I can't remember who shared this book yesterday and I literally was like, I'm definitely going to read it. But it was basically about like how social media has been, how our lives have become social media and how that really affects us. And then that's the aspect of when you, you've got a brand and you're trying to put up and create and put information out there, but you're trying to share the products, but at the same time, how the crap days are at the same time. So it's kind of juggling yeah. that. So I decided to split Glow Self's Instagram separately from a website perspective, because hosting websites um, and juggling oh, no. kind of stuff isn't, isn't easy. Um, I feel like at the moment there might be one website that hosts the different parts of Glow Circle, but then... Um, and that they link between kind of things. So, um, close, like, so that is, that's in the works over the next few months, hopefully. But um, at the moment, it was just keep to the Instagram, um, two separate Instagrams. Um, okay. Yeah. Because, geez, so anyone who's not Facebook already, <laughs> so anyone who's not already following the second one, please go and follow it. Is it Glow Self? Yeah, the Glow, Glow Self, Self yeah. Grant, I think I'm already following it. I you hope so. Well, I was. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Good. Good. Yeah. No problems. So, going back to both of us and our multi on our all our courses, do you want to tell us about what you've been studying recently? I know you did aromatherapy and you made those oils that you start you launched at Wellfest. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. tell us about those oils. Are they are they still selling as fantastic yeah. as they were at launch? Yeah. Yeah, they're doing really well. I really love them as well. Like, um, 
like I went on the hen last week and I took like sleep well with me and like deep breath because I thought I'd feel really like overwhelmed I don't know because I um, haven't really been away from my kids for the past so since they were babies tiny and um, so I was just like oh my goodness they're just perfect moments for these and post like I really have enjoyed integrating them into my day-to-day um, and dipping out with them because there's different ones like time of the month for the time of the month and like um, grounding for like those moments when you feel like really het up and you may have um, a big thing coming or it may not even feel like it might be a big thing to someone else but it feels like a big thing to you and you feel like you need mm-hmm. to yeah come back yeah. down um, and reconnect so um, you know they've done really well um, and I at the moment um, yeah so those aspects is doing really well and then I honestly have just got my head all confused. <laughs> what I was even saying. Um, yes, and no, with um, Wellfest, that was a great avenue for um, meeting new people and connecting with people that you've, like, I think anyone that I met at Wellfest, and I'm mean, sure you say that the same yourself when you were there, is that you just met with people that were literally just like you just like like yeah like, yeah you no know i mean just like you um i've yeah. met lots of lots of people that i had only known virtually as well yeah, so i exactly. got to meet them yeah exactly. in real life yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah and so, so was the air, 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 yeah so aromatherapy is one of the courses that i um studied so aromatherapy facials aromatherapy massage the right oils to blend for certain um, different types of ailments that you may have. So whether it be like, for example, one of my little boys, um, he really does not like taking medicines at all. And which is really hard because sometimes they do need, they really do need some medicine. Um, But like this, and he's so lucky that he's not been a child that's really needed them. But there's certain elements of like a tummy bug that you could blend a certain oil together and, certain things like peppermint and the oranges um sweet orange and lavender can be really great and calming for the tummy and tea tree so like rubbing that on his tummy with a great carry oil and obviously at the right percentage for little people oh, has been so helpful those kind of things and learning more about what, being a woman and we go through our hormonal cycles are all over the place whether we don't realize it and we don't deal with the extremes of it we do have a level of hormonal kind of fluctuations and learning that essential oils can be really helpful and beneficial to that like geranium is the women's oil and um that really helps from menstruation to um people that are going through the menopause as well so helping with that helping with that tension and um um hormonal imbalances has been so it's been like a little bit of a savior and knowing that oh i can dip into that so that's been lovely um i also over the past couple of years well before even lockdown started i did skin nutrition course to really understand like nutrition and feeding the skin and what you should eat and how you shouldn't be scared of eating certain things and just the balance like um like we like how we look for ingredients that we need to be putting on our skin we probably don't look for the ingredients that we need to be eating to make ourselves mm. feel good from the mind perspective from our gut perspective and everything it's all linked sounds a lot like the ayurveda nutrition yeah, it is, exactly. yeah. so it's all based on that because i'm really really pulled towards that so um yeah so that's what and then a healing diets coach and then um, a nutrition um a holistic um coaching course as well so wow with different modalities in there so it's just more because of things that I know myself that I was interested in for me and um and really was kind of connected to so I naturally you know naturally what you're interested in it flows into kind of educating yourself more and stuff and then um sound healing which I loved loved I literally fell in love with it I think I went to a sound bath I feel like I went to a sound bath. I can't remember where it was. I feel like I did one when we were like on my honeymoon in Bali. Oh, Bali, yeah. Yeah. And then I went to one in the UK. 
and I think I had a few listens of once during lockdowns and I just felt really like entwined with it I think as well because part of my journey my um my youngest son's death so um like sound for me I've just been very like since you've got a new a new perspective on sound of sound and then just like how beneficial sound can be and yeah so anytime like even I would suffer like if I'd ever get like a cold or a allergies or something my ears end up like building up fluids there and I'm always just like oh my goodness this must be how like if that's the level that chaos is hearing at and it's the other one can he hear this and can he hear that and when he hears a certain sound his reaction to it which would be very different to my reaction to it so sound and the healing of sound and the calmness that sound can bring I feel like even with him mm-hmm. if I play something a certain things it could really like help to calm him because he can be quite agitated. Um, so yeah. yeah, like, so I really, nice. like, yeah. So those kind of things, is things that help me or help us. Uh, yeah. I've and aren't, aren't you learning um, sign language as well? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how you do it all. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Our sign tutor, which um, she came to us through a family friend as well, which was just amazing. Um, Cause it all, and they've got this, she has the same birthday as Chaos. Like it was just like meant to be because they're, they're so hard to find. So I'm just really like, I think at the moment I'm really seeing like alignment on certain things. Like I will like yeah. message you on something and you'd be like, Oh my gosh. I'm like, Oh my gosh. Max thought the same thing. I was just about to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> or like different things like that. Um, but yeah, the sign language we do twice a week. Um, us as a family, Barry and I together, then us with the boys. And um, yeah, Barry gets told off every week because he doesn't practice. Um, but like, <laughs> but it is, oh, it's so, it's so beneficial. Like it really is. And it's been so helpful to Chaos and like Gary and my little boy our second first son he's very good like he's really like oh no he's picking it up very quickly he makes up his own signs I'm like oh play is this and he's just like no it's play (laughs) like (laughs) yeah so it's different things like that yeah so it's a new it was actually um a different thing of that I've learned over time is that sometimes you need ways to connect with people and I think sometimes in families or couples and relationships, you can go off piece a bit. But then when you have something that you both don't know and you're learning it together, it can be like learning a bit more about each other. Um, yeah. So that's why like even going to like yoga classes, going to different classes and different things like that. I think it's so helpful for people. Like you're never an expert in anything and everything. So learning more and more and doing different things just helps to bring out a different layer to you that you didn't know like um which is great like I think yeah I actually put in my Ayurvedic nutrition um essay that I just sent before I came on oh the more I learn (laughs) the more I learn the more I realize I don't know anything (laughs) do you know know what I mean like the the, but the more we learn like the more we realize how much more there is that we don't know. And that's, that's how it is kind of should be in a way, because yeah. we're never going to be experts. On yeah, no, I definitely agree. And I think, I think, um, I think, do you feel that like, since you started World Soul in the past couple of years, that you've been a real like rediscovery of yourself kind of like period, like, do you feel like you're like learning more and more about yourself? Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And like, I mean, when I started my teacher training, I wasn't actually planning to teach because Mm. I'm such an introvert and it it sounded so, so scary to stand at the top of a class. Never in a million years did I think I'd ever be able to do it. So I was just doing the teacher training for me and then I was going to, while it's all, was going to be products. Wow. So, yeah, I never... um, like, I never read out loud in, in school or anything. The first day of teacher training, she said, we're all going to take turns reading out the, the philosophy book. And I just went, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. So I said, I'll go first. 
and just got it out of the way. And then mm. I was like, oh, so I can't speak. I do have a throat chakra. It was just very blocked. <laughs> yeah. You, that's yeah, so, so I've, opened, that you're... I've opened my throat chakra. <laughs> yeah, that's so surprising that you're an introvert. I wouldn't say that you're... <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, I was practically okay. like a muse for many years. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely. Not. But that's not what. That's not just what the definition of introvert extrovert is. Yeah. It's to do with energy. So if I've been around people, I just need to be in a room by myself. Yeah. So yeah, for a while, like I'll just be wrecked. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm like cause it's interesting because I was saying that because I when I was away from my hen and my um. Um, brother's girlfriend said to me the other uh, she was just like Steph I didn't realize you were such an extrovert and I was just like oh my goodness I I found it such a like a uh, a bit of a compliment in a way because it felt like oh my goodness I felt I must have seemed very comfortable with myself then because I've been Mm. through a period such a period of time of not feeling comfortable around like in any kind of if there were settings that, like, oh, yeah, I just wouldn't go to them. Social, yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah, I just wouldn't go to them. And I do definitely, I think, like, for example, after Wellfest or different things, I was so wiped of, like, giving that I was just like, I just need to, like, I came in the door. Recharge. And husband, yeah, yeah. yeah. My husband was just like, do you want a cup of tea? Do you want? I went, I just need to be on my own. <laughs> That's what I need yeah. right now. Yeah, I, I would be the same. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's interesting. But, but I think I think the world has a new appreciation of of introvert though in the last few years. Yeah. I think people understand it better, and they get it a bit more. Yeah, that it's, it's not space. just to do with yeah. being outgoing. Yeah, it's to do it. It's to do it where you get your energy. Like some people get their energy from being around other people. And working from home and lockdown and all that was was terrible for them. You know, the big joke was all the introverts are delighted. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? (laughs) Secretly, I was, even now when it's coming to like planning things and different things, I'm like, oh God. Like I was going for a run. um, So I went for a run before this because I was just like, oh, I actually need to get out for a run and um, get myself together. And then I was just like, oh, my husband was like, oh, there's so-and-so pain on the pictures over there. Would you say hi as you go past? And I said, oh, no. Oh, no. I'm literally in my own, like, that is the oh, worst yeah, that... thing for me right now. <laughs> oh, the introverts are coming to now. Oh, yeah, that's what I love about running as well, the way you can just get, you just get into your own little world and, and you get yeah. great ideas and everything. That's probably a whole other conversation yeah. about, about running like, and adopting when you exercise <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah I can't wait to go to one of your sound baths I know I can't yeah I can't wait to start doing them I um really want to I when I was running I was getting ideas and different things like that and I was just like oh this would be lovely or this would be lovely but um yeah I'm just waiting so you, to get but you are you do you do have one planned Yes, I do Don't have you? one planned. Yeah, I do have one planned. I do, um, like, um, so I was initially supposed to be having a um, retreat in the um, next couple of, oh my goodness, I feel like it was next week, but that's been postponed. Um, but, like, we are going to be having a Glow Self self-care sunday oh this was this wasn't even the one that oh, i was referring one, to yeah, but yes no one, but go yeah, ahead one got postponed, but, um, yeah, oh, okay I, yeah but i literally to be fair i need to start talking about this one um that's going to be in september yes. go for it and we're going to be with mags and another special guest and it's going to be an amazing self-care sunday a few hours out in malahide sound baths connecting with yourself kind of unpacking um some beautiful yoga from mags a cacao ceremony um a women's kind of know yourself with an amazing woman that literally um will talk about the feminine cycle and all that kind of stuff so um which will be really informative helpful and hopefully a lovely safe space for everyone to kind of connect with but sounds um, wonderful yeah, i can't wait because i've never hosted a retreat i've wanted to go to retreats um and fangirled mags says retreats like um yeah so yeah i'm excited sorry i'm itching my eyes for hay fever after that run 
Oh, I heard that the hay fever level is really high at the moment. God, I thought I escaped it this year. I don't get it anymore. I just kind of grew, either I grew out of it or I never yeah. had it. It was true. I either grew out of it or I never had it. It was actually uh, my dairy intolerance. Yeah. Because I had ter- I had chronic, like, um, uh, cyanide. No, is it cyanide? Rhinitis. I chronic rhinitis, but it only happens if I eat dairy. Really? There's nothing wrong with my respiratory system if I don't eat dairy. And oh put, I was on inhalers and all sorts. So interesting. That's enough. that's yeah. When I've been doing some of the courses and stuff, that I've been you start realizing the different effects of different things and like how it can affect someone. Oh, feeling really bloated, feeling really like this, and then like yeah, yeah. Completely it would be kind of from an Ayurvedic point of view that would be accumulation. So yeah. too much of something. Yeah, yeah. 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 But anyway, we won't go into that. <laughs> or no, we we'll so we'll be much. chatting for hours. <laughs> I know. Right, we were all, we were already gone a little bit over, so I want to finish. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I asked you about how um, glow circles evolving, how you're evolving, what you have planned. Is there anything else that you want to let everybody know, or tell them about, or invite them to? Yeah, no, I think um, yeah. So hopefully, going to have new products updated onto the website over the next week. And hopefully going to have a few little pop-ups or um, back at the market days um, coming up as well as glow self days. But um, if you want to know any more about the journey and things like that, I have um, a podcast episode out with the futurist, Joe the Futurist this week amazing it was out yesterday which is like perfect oh great it's, it's i assume it's on spotify i'll definitely yeah, listen tomorrow spotify and itunes yeah so it was actually when i listened back to it because we actually did it so some of the things like um i talk about a pop-up and bun- dun drum but we but that happened already but um yeah when we talked about it and things i hadn't didn't realize what i sounded like so when i listened to it back in the car yesterday i was like oh my goodness like it's actually you know oh, it's you hard listen to listen it's hard yeah. to listen to yourself yeah I've it's been just... I've been on a few podcasts but I only listened to one it's just it's too hard to listen to yourself yeah but it's just interesting but it was just like I can't listen to it I was going to the gym I said just listen to it in the car and then just in case I'm like oh my god myself <laughs> but no I was um no it was great chat she's really she's amazing like she's um such a calm kind of informative person so if you want to listen to more about yes, me yes absolutely yeah <laughs> so and, if, and if anybody's interested in the event in september should they just dm you now to get on your waiting list yeah that's a great idea yeah that's a great idea yeah so we will be okay. getting it out this next week so it'd be good to if you want first right. come first come serve yeah exactly because i assume like it's there's going to be limited number of yeah because yeah, it's indoors exactly yeah it's so it's not like it's nice unlimited space yeah exactly, exactly. okay yeah. all right thanks then so i think much, that's Matt. everything thanks so much steph oh no that's okay <laughs> don't no need to apologize i just i just gave you a, a lovely long intro and gave my platform a little plug so it's all good well done. thanks so much thank you thanks so much Matt. i shall talk to you later on whatsapp anyway see you later bye thank you bye thanks for watching everyone